We learned in an earlier exercise that the alligator already allows a few avenues for modulation, and we learned that modulation is a very easy and cool way to create a groove within another groove, change the feel of a beat, or just create something altogether different. In this exercise, in this exercise, I'd like to show you yet another source of modulation within the alligator, the phaser. A phaser, when introduced, brings in an effect much similar to the LFO we talked about earlier, but the LFO on the alligator is used to modulate frequencies of one or all of the filters in the alligator in incremental amounts. The phaser modulates the phase of the audio signal going through the gates. Like the LFO and all the other effects within the alligator, the phaser can be introduced in each of the gate channels, low pass, band pass, and high pass in varying amounts. Phasers are generally used to create a spacey, ethereal, or psychedelic feeling on an instrument, loop, or voice, but can also be used in lesser amounts to instill a feeling of fatness. Let's see how this works. First, to give you a point of reference, I'll play my loop. No phaser. Like the delay, the main controls for adjusting the behavior of the phaser is the rate which is how fast the phase moves up and down. Then you have feedback, which increases the definition of your phase in smaller or greater amounts. The more feedback you apply, the more psychedelic a phaser begins to sound. Essentially, increasing the feedback on the phaser makes the phaser much more noticeable. If you're going for a more subdued fatness, keep it down. If you're going for more trancey, hippie type of effects, move it up. It's quite cool. I'll introduce the phaser on my low pass filter channel. Notice how on the lower frequencies there is this pulsing, throbbing, spacey kind of groove. It also seems like the low end is much bigger now. If you want thicker, introduce phaser in the low pass to fill up some space in your mix to create some warmth. Now I'll do a pass with the high pass filter. Notice when I increase the rate, the whole feel of the higher registers of my loop changed. Almost like I had introduced shakers or something. When I moved back the feedback, the higher end phase action became more subtle, but it still gave a feeling of ethereal bliss. Use the phaser on the high end for getting more of an ethereal airy vibe. This is especially cool for pads, as you'll see in the alligator pad video. Now let's try it with the bandpass filter, but this time, I'd like to adjust the filter frequency and resonance as well. In general, when you modify the filter frequency and resonance on any of the filters within the alligator, you can dramatically alter the perceived patterns, loops, melodies going through the alligator. When you add this in with the phaser, it's even more dramatic. Let's hear it. With the bandpass filter, the phaser can add additional body to your overall signal, making your outgoing alligator groove much more solid. As we move on into later videos, you'll begin to see how the phaser plays an integral part of the overall alligator sound. But you'll also notice that it's an optional ingredient that doesn't necessarily need to be applied all the time. I would suggest using it in moments where you need dreamier, thicker, and warmer. If you already have a lot of that in your mix, hold back. All right, we've gotten through all the effects within the alligator. In the next video, I'd like to talk to you a bit about the internal mixing and routing of the alligator and how you can use these mixing functions to create some amazing soundscapes with just a simple input.